You wake up and you rub your eyes. In all directions you see distorted reflections. Reflections of yourself swimming across the inside of a spherical mirrored ball. A small figure appears in the corner of the sphere. It grows larger. After a short time you can see a bow tie. Then a red nose. It's a clown. He speaks. Hello. How are you today? You stare transfixed and confused. Never mind, I'm here to plant a seed. The clown reaches into his oversized pockets and pulls out a half coal, half diamond seed with an odour of death and summer flowers. Have you ever wondered what's that side of the sphere? The clown touches the glass and a small crack appears. Smells, sounds and light trickle in. This realm represents innocence, naivety and purity. Out there is a different realm, with different rules. However, if you should ever leave this sphere, you can never return. The question is, will curiosity kill the cat? The clown hands you the half coal, half diamond seed and diminishes into a singularity. Time passes and your mind itches with questions and worry. Mumbled sounds of distant conversations drifting through the tiny crack. You cave in. I must know, you exclaim to yourself. The seed begins to throb, sending out thin, black and glass-like tendrils, feeling their way across the mirrored surface, expanding and swirling all around. They move and flow like roots, interweaving until no reflective surface remains. Silence and darkness follows. Time becomes endless. Doubt and fear. Every thought, every feeling becomes a wretched exercise in masochism. What if? The sound of cracking glass breaks the silence. Beams of different coloured light flood in as your universe turns to ash and dust. And there, all around you, is an endless expanse of nothing. And quite possibly, the new everything. A tap on your left shoulder. You turn around. The clown stands grinning. <coughs> welcome, welcome, relax, make yourself at home. I did tell you you can't go back right. I forgot to tell the last guy, and he wasn't very happy. I think his name was Larry, or was it Leonard? Maybe Lamp, or was it... Ah, oh, my apologies, I'm rambling. Would you like me to show you around? Excellent! He grabs you by the shoulders, spins you whilst pointing, and says, This is what I call Shiny Ball Land. Each one of those sphere thingies contains a person just like you. Most people never leave. They are quite happy merely existing and finding comfort in that. If you ask me, it's a fool's errand finding joy in such a pointless life, but that's their choice and we must respect it. He spins you again and gestures. Over here is what we call the plane of hedonism. You can do anything there. Every possible emotion, chemical induced coma, sex act, fantasy, both good and bad can be found. I love that place. Such fond memories. Especially that time I snorted cocaine off a dead walrus and stabbed a transgender midget hooker. She was called Bob. And over there, the clown pauses looking solemn. Over there are the Puritans and criminally self-righteous. Do you see that large beige cube? That's where the puritanical emperor resides. They say he wears grey underwear. He's called Macintosh, and together with his queen Anita, they seek to control all who reside in our realm. Why? you ask. Good question, responds the clown. When they emerged from their shiny wombs, they were so promising. I remember Anita raping a man in a dog suit with a strap on, and Macintosh, well, let's just say woof woof. But it quickly went wrong. You see, part of hedonism plain is that you can't stay there all the time. You have to find your limit for experimentation and risk taking, otherwise you can get pretty messed up. So what happened to them? You ask. They went too far and want to go back into the spheres, but they can't. The innocence has been lost. So instead they seek to turn our entire realm into their own personal sphere by dehumanizing all of us and viewing them as projected, distorted reflections of themselves. The cruel irony is that by winning, they have also lost. Being a Puritan is just another experience. After all, that's what us hedonists crave. What's that, you ask? Oh no! the clown exclaims. The Puritans are attacking Hedonism Plain. We must warn the prostitutes and the porn actresses. The clown reaches for a miniature novelty tricycle in his pocket and awkwardly positions himself on top of it. Quick, off of my shoulders. You do as the clown asks. With great haste, you zip across the white powdered sand, wind flowing through your hair. Serene aquamarine ponds filled with fish sticks, telling racist jokes, fly by whilst misogynist birds laugh at homophobic beehives. Isn't it beautiful? This is truly living. Everyone is free to be themselves, the clown retorts. <laughs>